story. I'd like to say that when I was born, there was a big star in the sky. I'd like to say I was born in a manger. <laughs> I can't say either. I was the first of John and Mary and Phelps' children to be born in a hospital. Both my both brothers and sisters were born at home with a midwife. Right off the bat, I made my parents famous. My dad was 62, my mother was 42. I was the old people's baby. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in a five-story walk-up in New York City that had been built in the early 1900s. And so the one drawback you found is the bathroom was in the hall, not in the unit. So you had to put a robe on to go to the bathroom. And there was a lock that would have taken three rifle bullets and not broken. <laughs> one time I dropped the key and it fell into the, we couldn't get the key. My father had a hacksaw. And the bathtub was always in the kitchen in all the buildings, in the places I lived in. And so to take a bath, you had to ask someone to either go in another room, winter, <coughs> or you asked them to go downstairs, five stories down, five stories back. Well, I took my little bath. And my mother had a voice that she could holler a block away, and I would hear her and I would go home. My mother was also very adept at throwing me coins. She would take a quarter and wrap it in toilet paper put a piece of paper on it and drop it five stories, and I would try to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> a good student, we lived in a um, sort of a bad neighborhood. It was a low-income neighborhood, a lot of um, tough people. And, but we were very loyal to each other. You know, I, I can remember uh, about 15 or 16, my mother took me to a funeral, and by that time I knew, you know, we all knew what everybody was, and this was the woman that was sort of the harlot of the neighborhood. She had all the boyfriends, and, but never got married, smart woman. <laughs> and she, so at the funeral, my mother kept saying, they're finally together. And I said, Mom, what are you talking about? She's talked with everybody. She said, no, I mean, her legs are finally together. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Seward Park High School in New York City, and I don't want you to think it was a tough school, but they searched us for weapons. If we didn't have one, they gave us one. <laughs> I mean, our high school newspaper had an obituary column. <laughs> then I started to fall in love. I met a little girl from Milwaukee, or actually from Big Ben, Wisconsin. And because she was so sweet and kind and unlike New York girls, I thought this is someone I'm attracted to. But there was doubt because at the wedding she brought a date. <laughs> and when I actually confronted her, she said, yeah, but I'm only dating him, I'm marrying you. <laughs> and I took a job selling cars because I decided the priesthood are selling cars. Selling cars seemed like it would be a little bit more fun. And I uh, started on a career selling Chevrolets and Buicks and Cadillacs. And, and it's been a fun ride and now I'm driving a little tiny car, a Miata convertible. I'm all against big cars. I'm enjoying myself, and I'm looking forward to the best part of my life right now. 